Hey guys, so in this video we're gonna go over how we're gonna send, send our log, our Palo Alto logs to Sumo Logic. So we're gonna install a collector behind the firewall and then we're gonna like, do a couple of configuration on the Sumo Logic to get the collector up and running and then we're gonna configure our uh, syslog here on the Palo Alto. So what you'll have to do is under device, create a syslog and then we could also tweak the syslog settings and then under objects we're gonna we'll configure the log forwarding okay so i'm gonna start by setting up the syslog server so um, to actually do it i've already launched an ec2 instance called it the sumos logic collector and then here it specify what you want to do so we're gonna do paulo alto existing collector no i want to install a new one and it's a linux collector so let's copy this and paste it here all right guys so installation has been complete and you can see here we're in the configuration source this is the source category firewall, uh, firewall pam utp specifying the port the time zone let's specify pst all right i will do next all right guys while waiting for this let's start the configuration on the Pablo alto firewall so as i said first we're gonna go under syslog specifying our syslog okay so this is like the profile service uh, server profile let's name it sumo logic and here you could uh, put multiple uh, syslog we just have one so we specify the syslog's ip in our case it's 172.16.1.135 And here you could uh, you could add more uh, custom the logs. So currently we want everything as default. And what's nice about it is like Sumo Logic already knows the login format of uh, Pablo Alto, so to be, this is gonna be an easy uh, integration. So then we go under log settings. So what are we gonna send to Sumo Logic? So just, uh, Let's send everything. Here, if you want to manage your logs, you could clear them and, and so on and so on. Um, so now let's go under not networking, under objects and log forwarding. So this is the default one. It tells you like whenever you want to apply it to a particular policy, what do you want it to forward to. So I want I want the whole thing. So let's do that. Definitely, this is a lab. It's better to have better naming convention, but I like, uh... Alright, so finally we've uh, selected everything to send all log to the syslog sumo logic, alright? We might need to do one more thing here under settings and setup. Uh, services. And we need to specify change the default route since uh, 
will actually, usually the firewall will send the log from its uh, management interface and that's not uh, how we want it. And actually I need also, I remember I need to change the syslog logs. Uh, because this management interface is connected to the outside world, so what we need to do is just change it and we could use the tunnel, it's fine. It's better maybe to create a loopback, but for now, it's just a lab, that's okay. So we're just specifying, like, use the tunnel to reach uh, your destination. And uh, one more thing, uh, under this log here, we need to fix this port, which is 1540. Right, so let's apply this uh, to the policy. All right, so let's uh, change the log forwarding on the portal. Also change the log forwarding on the gateway. I've already configured like the log forwarding on the, those three entries. This one I don't need anymore. seeing some logs on the sumo logic all right guys so the people that are not interested in going over like the ui the dashboard of sumo logic you could uh, stop the video right now please like and subscribe that would be really helpful and uh, in the rest of the video i'm gonna go over just like the next couple of minutes just how uh, the sumo logic ui okay so for some reason the um, the Pablo alto app category didn't show properly it gave me some errors, so I'm gonna create a new one. It tells you which version you want, let's say in the latest. Right, so I don't have any data right now, so I'm gonna skip here. So here is specifying source category, it's spam firewall. So let's take a look at that. We're not gonna have a ton of uh, data since like this is just starting, but um, we could keep it running for a while. Hey guys, so I've been running it for a couple of minutes now. I have a little bit more data. So we'll go over some of the dashboards here, all right? So I'll start by the configuration one. So the configuration analysis, it gives you data. What's the IP that's performing the changes, the username, is it web, CLI? Uh, here it tells you like the action that it has taken. The rest, there's not a, lot, not a lot of data. The recent 20 submitted config, also the 20 successful config and so on and so on, okay? Uh, those the threads, we don't have any threads configured right now. So that we won't have any data. We need to go, we didn't go over the uh, the profiles and this is a high level overview all right so this is for the system monitoring uh, hopefully it has good data good yeah so you'll see like uh, the events that are happening authentication failed and so on so on event by severity over time recent systems event all right the threat analysis i'm sure doesn't have uh, any data on the threat overview since we didn't have we didn't configure any threats over the policies at the at this time as i said before traffic insight is not bad um, but this is doesn't have this we need to have to look at the web activities for us 
All right, so it tells you the events, uh, the URLs, the apps. Threshold, event count, I, I really like it. And finally, traffic monitoring, also pretty handful. All right, the top destination IP, the app by bytes, the user, just me. Anyway, yeah, so that's all I think for the dashboard. Like, uh, maybe we'll go over in the threads, uh, the thread, sorry, later when we configure the profiles. And uh, anyway, all right, guys, thanks for joining, and please like and subscribe, and uh, see you on the next video.